Well, hi guys! How's everyone? I hope you're all doing really well. I'm so excited! There's some good changes and some other changes to design space. And I wanted to show you how to do the new curve that they added to your iPad and to your iPhone. So let's get started. Let's get down here and click Cricut. And it's so easy to do. Okay, we're gonna go over here and hit text. And let's just type in Julie Picks. J E W E L Y space P I X. Okie doke, hit the screen so the lettering goes away. And here is Curve! Finally! Finally available on iPads and iPhones. It's about time. So let's hit Curve. We're going to go down here to this little circle and you can make it as round as you want. You can make it up, you can make it down. Let me show you. So we're going to go this way. How cool is this? And look, you can make it a complete circle. I love it. Or you can go this way. How exciting, finally. We're back to where it was. Perfectly straight. So simple. Let's do it again. I'm going to do a circle. And I'll show you on the screen how it looks when you're done. Let's go up here and hit done if you like it. Maybe hit done if my pen would work. <laughs> Let's move it over here to the center. And there you go. I mean, of course, I wouldn't print that out on anything <laughs> the way it looks right now, but this is just an example. And I wanted to show you something else that's changed. You no longer have your red X to delete what you're working with. It's now over here in the corner. It looks like a trash can and it says delete right there. So that's how you delete something off the page if you're not happy with it. The little red X is gone. So let's go over here and hit delete and it's gone how cool is this okay let me put my julie picks back up just click it right there space p and there it is right there go down here and hit curve let's pull this over here curve one more time done hopefully come on Ben okay so there you have it two new things on design space but I am so excited by the curve finally I used to always have to go to my laptop if I wanted to curve something in design space but now you don't have to so I hope this video was helpful I hope you liked it and I hope you'll subscribe. And to my subscribers, thanks to you guys so very much. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.